in order to shift and transform anything, you have to engage. And um, politics these days are so ugly and so um, partisan that I think a lot of women are uh, stepping back and saying, you know, I don't want to go into that. I'll, I'll shift and change in other ways. But it's so important that our political culture represent the female point of view and fe feminine energy. It's so racked with the male energy now, which is also hard on the guys. They've been having to carry this, and women have been kept away from having a seat at the table. And now it's, I think it's our obligation as women and, and men to step forward and take a seat at the table and be heard. We're currently refighting battles that we thought were won, you know, uh, uh, back in the, the 60s and 70s, women's rights in particular, um, rights that have been uh, givens since I was conscious, uh, like family planning, um, dominion over our own body, uh, birth control. It's all coming up now uh, to be refought, and we have um, people trying to define rape as legitimate or not, that we have these magic vaginas that somehow stop the pregnancy process when we're legitimately raped. This kind of discourse is so dangerous, and we need to engage our political process in order to transform this. And I think that we need to bring the feminine energy into, the, uh, into politics. Um, there are 17, 17% of the people in Congress are women. We are 51% of the population. I was at a fundraiser for uh, women's Senate candidates, uh, for Tammy Baldwin, Claire McCaskill, and Heidi Heitkamp, who were these powerful women like us. They're, 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 um, they're concerned about their kids. They're concerned about uh, schools. They're concerned about their rights. They're, they had great senses of humor. And I was like, I want these women in Congress. And uh, Claire McCaskill had a really great point. She said, if we don't take our seat at the table, we're probably on the menu. Um, and that really resonated with me. And what gives me hope um, in my area, in my, in my area of expertise um, uh, in entertainment, there are women who are like 10 years younger than I am. And it seems to have made just a huge difference those 10 years. There is an entitlement that these girls have. Tina Fey and Amy Poehler and Lena Dunham, um, where they, they believe that they have a, a, a place at the table. And they are entitled to it, and they step forward. In fact, Martha Plimpton won't even answer the question, what do you think makes women funny? Why are women funny? She's, next question. It's demeaning. It's not something she wants to focus on. She, we just all, they feel an entitlement to their place at the table, and it inspires me. Um, and if we can get these really cool women out there in the world to engage in politics, to, to step forward and take what is ours, and also at the same time transform the energy of our political culture so that there's, there's equality. There's, uh, the feminine and the, the uh, masculine come together, and we will work toward wholeness. And that's why I'm so looking forward to Sister Giant. I think a, a bunch of men and women in the same place with the same intention to allow that feminine energy to be a part of our experience and, and meet the male energy and create a, a, a balance is, is so important. And I think this weekend will be will be so powerful, and I invite you to be a part of it, to be there. And we'll all be the godmothers and the godfathers of this movement.